Hey everybody, uh, Dwayne Forrester here. I am Sports Guy on Super Tenere Form, and I just got my uh, Happy Trails pannier kit in. Uh, mounted that up, thought I'd take you guys for a uh, run through that, take a look at it, see the quality of it, see how it operates, and the last couple of steps in the actual installation. Uh, before we get to that though, I am gonna give you guys a quick look uh, I know you guys have seen photos of these, but I'll give you a quick look at the uh, fork protectors, the aluminum fork protectors that I got in from ADV Motorrad uh, a couple weeks ago. So, without further ado, uh, let's go. All right, so these are the ADV Motorrad uh, fork protectors. Um, they're well done, they're nicely shaped. Um, they're, they actually seem to seem like they would move a little bit, but I've ridden these things, uh, you know, to 60 plus miles an hour and they're rock solid. It's not a problem. Uh, they're easy to position in there if you have to move something. Uh, it literally is that simple. Two bolts, take out the factory ones, replace them with the longer ones, and you're in the money. And that's it. They're, they're nicely done. They're well formed. Uh, the edges are a little bit sharp for my taste. If I were making the product, I would chamfer the edges just a little bit more. To, uh, to just take down some of the edge. On this side, it's fine. On this side, it's just slightly more. So um, just a little bit sharper. Uh, so that's it. So now let's take a quick look at the Happy Trail panniers. Uh, I got the nine inch uh, units. Uh, I got the actual um, mounting uh, brackets for them uh, a few weeks ago. Everything is, as you will see, beautifully powder coated. It's a very nice job. Uh, it's very clear where the welding has been done. Uh, it gives it a bit of a rugged look, I guess, but very much matches these uh, these pannier racks that were themselves very easy to install. Um, these things are fantastic. I'm going to take you around and uh, show you the other side because that one's fully fastened here and I can show you the functionality. Uh, personally, not a huge fan of, um, of uh, logoed items on my... Uh, my gear. Uh, this is how Happy Trail sends the product. The nice thing though is these are retro reflective stickers so they really will light up at night. So I'm going to be uh, quite happy to have these things on my side while I'm running. So now this is it. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward nine inch box. Um, give you guys the overhead look down in. Uh, the mounting pucks, easy to undo and tighten up. Loosen them, tighten them, do what you want with them. Then the box will uh, actually dismount pretty seamlessly. We'll see if we can dive in here and show you guys the interior with a little more detail. So they're uh, they're pretty well constructed, I have to admit. Um, we've got these uh, these really big knurled knobs here, which are going to be super easy to undo and, and do up again with, um, with uh, gloves on them. Uh, so makes it super uh, handy for that kind of thing. And then big carriage bolts down here that are easy to set up once and you leave those in place. And on the opposite side from that, you have these pucks. So you can see these silver or these aluminum machine pucks that go down here and actually grip around the frame itself to hold everything in place. And that's where the big knurled knobs come through is in the, uh, the pre-threaded holes on the back of the rack. So really well done uh, system. Now you'll notice that there's an offset hinge right here. This hinge is offset. So if you watch carefully, what'll happen is you'll actually bring this up and then it will slide down. Now here's the beauty of this system. And this is why these things are really weather tight. You see how much I got to compress that? And then I turn that and lock it down. And if we come around to the front side here, we do the same thing. Got to press it down really tight to get this to actually fit properly. And then tighten it, latch it. Now I can secure these with uh, extra locks on them if I want, but there are locks up here that will actually lock the pannier for me and weather cover on it just to make sure it's there. Some great tie downs on here. Uh, they're riveted in place, so they're uh, fairly easy to, uh, to take care of. Um, my bike, I'm probably going to put a dab of silicone in each one of the rivets just to make absolutely certain that uh, no water can uh, come in from that position. Uh, they look pretty good, I think. You know, they're a pretty standard pannier on a bike. So uh, I want the 9-inch models. Puts them pretty much the same width as the handlebar here. So uh, it's a little bit, um, little bit wider, I think, overall. Uh, it wasn't quite how I measured it out, but uh, that's okay. I think the 9-inch splits a good difference here in terms of uh, usable space uh, versus the overall width. So now, uh, what we have to do here when you're putting these things on 
is you mount these pucks down here, as I mentioned earlier, you mount these guys down here. But what you do is you leave them a little bit loose and you position them, you put them in place, and then you come in, you put the knobs on the top, and then as your last piece, let's see if we can go down inside for this one, see if you guys will, will actually see this in action. What you do for your last bit is you actually tighten up these after you've tightened these top knurled knobs. Once those have been tightened, you go ahead and tighten down these bottom pieces. So now that these are in place, we are good to go. Now, I don't need to touch the bottom knob, uh, bolts again. They're all set. So that's it. You can also see on here the weather stripping. Right? It's very pliant silicone, uh, so it will definitely seal this top edge. I don't think between the overhang and the seal we have to worry too much about water getting in here. Um, the obviously very securely mounted to the bike. I mean, the whole bike's going to move here. Uh, but there is some leeway built into the system. So, for example, uh, if you were to, I don't know, low side this thing, drag it, move it, knock it around, whatever, clip it off a rock, or if you've ever seen the FJR video, clip it off a garbage can and park it on a boat. Uh, what you can do then is um, actually move these... Uh, these pieces that are these pucks that are on here come off and as these are coming off what you will notice behind them is, besides a lot of noise is you will notice a big hole there so that's a 17 uh, or 7 16 inch hole and it's a little bigger than the thread needed for the actual um, for the actual uh, puck itself but what it does do is allows you a little bit of leeway so when you're mounting these things back on again if you have to make a change because there's a little bit of variance you've got some tolerance in there to move this around but as i mentioned earlier i mean these things are are really solidly mounted to the bike so i don't think it's going to be a real problem there um i did have uh i got home last night and found the box sitting on the step so i was pretty excited about it and i opened it up this morning and i did notice a couple of pieces of broken plastic in the um in the shipping box itself. And I was a little curious about it because I thought, well, you know, these are aluminum boxes. What could possibly be broken on them? And if you look right down here, this little piece of plastic right here that goes on there, and what it does is it, it protects the coating from the edge of the top. That little piece there on my other side, both of these were broken off. And so a uh, quick phone call to, uh, or a quick email to Happy Trails today and they very quickly uh, got back to me, uh, literally within less than an hour. Um, I had uh, an email from Heather over at Happy Trail and they had uh, sent it over to the production team and we're going to ship out a couple of those for me so that I can just glue them into place as expected and we're good to go. So customer service from these guys, absolutely fantastic. Um, slight uh, bit of confusion, the instructions that come with the mounting pucks say that if you do not have your boxes pre-drilled, mine are pre-drilled, I requested that at the factory, but if you get them and they're not pre-drilled and you have to drill them yourself, they recommend using a 5 16 inch drill bit and then chamfering the edges to remove the burrs and the usual stuff. That's a much smaller hole than what I showed you guys. Uh, what's actually built into the box is a 7 16 inch hole. And it appears that might be a typo in their instructions. Uh, because if you get these when they're powder coated, that 5 16 inch hole might be a little bit tight on tolerance to allow you to install things properly. So uh, after calling uh, the guys over at uh, Happy Trail, uh, they explained the whole thing to me and, and they, they walked me through the, the entire thing and said, you know what, uh, don't worry about it. That's the way we intend it to be and here's why. So fantastic, again, customer service for them. Now you can see on here, plenty of room in here if you wanted to uh, mount, say, I don't know, an ADV Red, a uh, Motor Red, uh, one of their uh, rally boxes in here, um, assuming that it fits with this rack kit. I don't know if it does or not. Uh, plenty of room in here for a tool tube if you want to put one in. Um, so lots of room to be able to, you know, put stuff in, usable space in behind the pannier. Um, obviously muffler on that side. And yeah, so that's the nine inch Happy Trail uh, panniers, guys. Um, these are the cliff cut models. Uh, obviously, you know, I give up a little bit of space in here with this edge being cut down, but uh, I make up for that because it looks much cooler. So really, you know, when it's just you and the squirrels in the outback, that makes a world of difference. So that's it. Um, 
I will note that in my mounting kit, I ended up with, count them, four extra bolts. I'm not sure why, but I'm grateful to have them. Always happy to have extra bolts in the system here. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, powder coating looks pretty good in here. Um, you know, a little bit around the edges and the corners, but uh, I think really what we're seeing there is um, some of the slag from the welds is really what's keeping that powder coating up in a couple of spots. But uh, overall, you know, pretty good quality here. Uh, I'm really happy with them. Um, I managed to get them. I know as of the recording of this video, they are still on sale. Uh, so it is definitely worth talking to these guys. The shipping's included. Um, so it's worth uh, giving them a call and seeing what they've got going on for specials. Uh, I know you can get a much smaller, a slimmer, uh, about two or three inches slimmer uh, pannier if you want. Um, it's a, I mean, if, if you look inside there, these knobs are going to take away a little bit of usable space as you start packing stuff. So you have to be aware of that. It's pretty easy to pack stuff around them. But imagine if you actually had a pannier that was only as wide as the base on this without the extra kick out on the side. That's a pretty slim line thing. You're not even going to get a DSLR in there. So uh, you want to think about that size, measure carefully, that kind of idea. But uh, yeah, fantastic, uh, fantastic quality. Um, I'm really happy with them. I uh, love the way the, the Tenere is coming together. Uh, it's starting to, uh, starting to come along nice. Uh, can't say enough about the suppliers out there. They're all, they're fantastic folks. So uh, if you guys are looking for a nice set of panniers, I definitely recommend Happy Trail. Uh, not just because they are excellent, excellent quality and great people to deal with. These are all made in Utah. Fantastic uh, made in America product. Great local people, easy to deal with. Oh my God, no, sorry. It's not Utah, it's Boise, Idaho. Sorry, Idaho, you're known for more than potatoes now. There we go. Uh, so yeah, that's the review of the panniers uh, from Happy Trail. Uh, fantastic stuff. Uh, tell all your friends.